hi in this video we will see how we can create a free azure account from microsoft website so at first we need to go google and search by the keyword like free azure account and once we type that thing then we'll find a couple of links and the first link here you will find this type of link like create your azure free account today we need to follow this link and then only we can actually access the free 12 months plan of azure freely if you don't find the link by searching like this way you can also check the video description i will also provide the direct link to access this thing to create the free account but please watch the whole video then only you can understand how to create the free account from microsoft's website so i'm going to access this page i'm going to open it in a new tab and then it will open in a new tab and here you will find built in cloud with an free account so here we are seeing this is a free account and if we scroll down we'll find many things are there uh, like free it is showing like popular services free for 12 months and some other services 55 plus other services free always these are the free always time and there is also a 200 dollar credit to access this thing um, then after that it will be charged something like that okay and it has uh, the message you will have 30 days to use it in addition to free services okay so let's see what are the free services available for 12 months if we click here then we'll find what are the services are free like this services are free for 12 months here it is mentioning 12 months uh, these are free so like virtual machines uh, on windows then virtual machines on linux then sql database blob stories and something like that and these are the always time uh, these are free and if you want to check all the services which are free completely then we can also explore uh, by pressing this button see all free services if we click here then it will open like this and here you will see the details what are free always and which one are free for only 12 months like this ai personalizer then ai translator these are free for 12 months something like that like database this thing and some other things also so you can also check uh, this, this list and you can find out whether this is really helpful for you or not so i'm going to close this window now let's create the account for 12 months okay so there are a couple of buttons are here like start free then down also you'll find start free and start free Th that means there are different ways you can actually create the account free and all buttons will work the same way so whatever the button you click it will give you the same benefit okay so let's click this start free this button and then it will open this type of page so here we have to create our account and then we can leave, uh, we can only actually access the free account so here uh, if you have already a microsoft account then you can use that account and if you don't have then you cannot access uh, this thing basically you need to create an account or you can also even use your gmail account or something else you can to create a microsoft account but here basically i will create a brand new account so that you can easily follow how to create uh, the azure account completely free for 12 months uh, and some other services like which are always free something like that okay so i'm going to click this uh, create one so i'm going to click this button no account then after that there's a link like create one so i'm going to click here and then it will ask us this type of option like create account and here there are couple of options are there so i have to i'm going to use like get a new account like email address with this basically i will create the account but you can use your own email address to create the account also so i'm going to click here create a new email instead and i'm going to type a name like few steps and i'm just typing uh, the name like few steps and let's check whether it is uh, giving me that uh, email address or not so i'm going to click next and it's showing that someone already uses this email address okay so we need to use a name which is completely unique so that only we can access their uh, that thing and there is couple of other option like hotmail you can also use hotline hotmail to check whether it is working properly or not so yes it's not working so basically we need to change it uh, like this 
So we can uh, type this thing like Fiestrips demo. Okay, uh, we can choose like this type of thing, or we can even choose the name for sub for my case few steps email for example email at outlook.com okay so i'm going to hit next and this is also not available so i have to use a uh, different email address so that i can use so i'm going to use a uh, few steps demo account uh this thing let's see whether it is available or not so i'm going to click next okay this is available okay uh, then we have to choose a password i'm going to type a strong password and then after that uh, we don't need this checkbox basically I can uncheck uh, because uh, other is if we put check mark then I will get lots of emails something like that okay then I'm going to click uh, next button and once I hit next button then it is going to create the account and then there is a robot basically we need to uh, sort this thing so it is showing like uh, we have to face uh, this animal to that direction so I can press this button till it goes like that way and I see it's going to the same direction and then I have to click the submit button uh, this is the capture basically okay then it's showing verification complete okay once it is verified uh, then it will ex uh, actually it will forward us to some page let's see what type of page it brings it takes few seconds to reach the new page okay so once we are there then we'll find this type of thing like uh, we need to complete our profile so here we have to type the name suppose i'm typing the name like few then steps then email address is that one which we actually created that thing and we have to uh, put a phone number here so i'll put my phone number because i need to verify uh, this phone number okay and then i have to put that address so basically uh, so right now i'm in uh, like new york city some some estates and then zip code we need to put and then after that we need to press uh, these two things i agree to this uh, agreement and i will uh, receive information tips okay we don't need basically this thing uh, just check this thing i agree to this thing and then you have to click next so i'm going to complete this information basically uh, like uh, phone number i will verify that after putting the phone number okay and then i'll put my address and then i'll uh, click the next button so uh, this information is sensitive that's not i'm going to show you what the information i've put but you will put your own information and then you will hit next button uh, i will click uh, this next button and then i will show you how to do this thing okay so i'm going to complete this thing so i will not show what i'm typing so i just verify my uh, phone number and then after that i'm going to type my address Once I complete the address, then I'm going to hit the next button to go to the next step. Now we need to uh, verify my account by putting a valid credit card. Here it is mentioning like, uh, please provide a credit card or debit card. We'll make a temporary authorization on this card, but you won't be charged unless you move to pay as you go pricing. We don't accept prepaid cards. That means we need to provide a valid credit card information here and then it will verify and then we can access this thing so i'm going to put uh, a valid credit card on my account to verify whether this is uh, really working or not basically it will check uh, my id id information basically my identification and then uh, it will give us access basically to use that services which microsoft is providing in the cloud so i'm going to add all the information here one by one uh, but i'm not going to show you what i am put in typing uh, you will put your own information over here so once I complete the credit card information, then we have to uh, press this sign up button to complete the account verification and to create the account. So once we click this sign up button, then you will find like this type of window confirming your information. And there is something like that. We don't need basically this thing to submit. Uh, let's see what it is coming. Setting up your account. It's not it's still completed. Set up my account. So basically once it is set up then it will go uh, directly to this page and here we will get this type of confirmation message you are ready to start with azure and go to azure portal and this is the portal and there are some other links basically we don't need uh, this thing but you can watch this thing was the one one demo sites to learn how to navigate or something like that but we don't need this thing okay so i'm going to uh, uh, 
access the portal by pressing uh, this thing so i'm going to hit this button go to the portal and once we click there then we'll be directed to this page and here we can actually check how we can do this thing so here there is like quick uh, start center some tutorials are there we can actually check uh, but we don't need so we can directly click here and then we can see all the services are there okay now uh, this is the thing in this way we can easily create the account now the question is how we can access uh, next time uh, on this portal like on my azure portal so for that case basically we need to type on thing like portal dot azure dot com just we need to type this thing uh, portal then azure.com and then we have to click or hit enter key of our keyboard and then we'll access uh, this page and uh, we can also ignore this thing maybe later and here we will see all the details so this is my account a uh, few steps demo at outlook.com so which we actually created a uh, few minutes before and here we are seeing all the things and if you want to access or see all the services we can hit here and then we can uh, press or click this thing this button and then we can click this thing all services if we select there then it will show us all the services and from here we can actually do a lot of thing uh, for cloud uh, that's it guys in this way we can easily create a free microsoft azure account which will be free for next 12 months and some of the services those are free always uh, so basically that is the thing and you can easily create this type of azure account and start your azure journey how to learn or how to do the exam or how to use your own purpose uh, hopefully you will be able to do this thing and i will also give you the download link not the download link basically the access link how we can access the free azure portal um, for 12 month subscription this link will be also provided in the link description i mean the youtube description you can directly click there and then you can uh, go to that site and you can start the registration from there you will be able to get these free services for 12 months um, time to time i will check the link whether it is updating properly or not if you find that the link is not updating you can put in the comment section i will try to find the actual uh, working link uh, so that you can create the free account for next 12 months so that's it guys if you have any comment or any question just put in the comment section and that's it thank you for watching the video